so let's crack on with tonight's quiz. Good luck, everybody. Enjoy. Remember, it's just for fun. No cheating, or else we'll send the Google police around to your place. Then they'll be able to pay, won't they? Yeah. All right, so uh, we're, we're kicking off then with general knowledge. That's uh, our first round. We'll have 10 questions of general knowledge. So uh, get your pens ready, get your papers ready, and we shall begin. Question number one. Who wrote the Mr. Men books? That's question number one. Uh, fairly easy one to start. Who wrote the Mr. Men books? Uh, question number two. In the fairy tale, which vegetable was placed beneath a pile of mattresses to test a princess? That's question number two. In, in the fairy tale, which vegetable was placed beneath a pile of mattresses to test a princess? All right, you ready for question number three? What product was the first product to be advertised on the UK's Channel 5? So uh, when we say product, we're talking about um, not an actual brand, but the actual product. So what product was first the first product to be advertised on the UK's Channel 5? That's question number three. Nice, easy one now. Uh, watch out here. <laughs> true, true or false, all polar bears are left-handed. It's question number four. True or false, are all polar bears left-handed? Question number five. Uh, what is the first name of the American President Roosevelt? That's question number five. What is the first name of the American President Roosevelt? And we move on to question number six now. A standard set of dominoes have how many pieces? A standard set of dominoes have how many pieces? That's question number six. Uh, question number seven now. Which famous waterfall straddles the borders of USA and Canada? Which famous waterfall straddles the border of the USA and Canada? That's number seven. Question number eight now. In which sport do competitors shoot at a flying disc? Question number eight. In which sport do competitors shoot at a flying disc? Uh, number nine, what is the only animal that cannot jump? It's question number nine, what is the only animal that can't jump? <clears throat> and your final question of the general knowledge round, question number 10, which metal is the best conductor of electricity? That is, which metal is the best conductor of electricity? That's question number 10 and your final question of general knowledge. Cool. <clears throat> Good job, Mr. Wood. Right then, so music. Now we like music, don't we? So um, <clears throat> let's see how we get on with this round. 10 questions again on music. So here we go with question number one. Which beetle led the way across the zebra crossing on the Abbey Road cover. Very famous. <laughs> All right, number two. Which Spice Girl released the album Schizophonic? Which Ice, which, ice, which Spice Girl released the album Schizophonic? That's question number two. Number three. Which Oasis member is older? Is it Liam? Or is it Noel Gallagher? Who's the eldest in Liam and Noel Gallagher? That's number three. Number four. Whose real name is Stefan, I beg your pardon, Stefani, Joanne, Angelina, Germanotta? <laughs> Whose real name is Stefani, Joanne, Angelina, Germanotta? That's number four. Number five. Where were the Venger boys going in their biggest selling song? Okay. Where were the Venger boys going in their biggest selling song? Number six. Which gilded object stands on top of a Grammy Award? Which gilded object stands on top of a Grammy Award? Number six. 
Okay, number seven. Sound of the Underground was the first number one hit for which group? Sound of the Underground was the first number one hit for which group? Okay, number eight. Complete the Rihanna lyric. We found love in A. Okay, complete the Rihanna lyric. We found love in A. Right. Number nine now. What reggae band is named after an unemployment benefit form? <laughs> Good question. What benefit, or rather, what reggae <laughs> band is named after an unemployment benefit form? That's number nine. And lastly, on the music round, number 10. Which ancient city gave David Gray his first top 10 hits? Which ancient city gave David Gray his first top 10 hits? That concludes the music round. Uh, 10 questions there, all done. Uh, now it's TV and film, and it's back over to Woody and his cat, Fudge. Yeah, got a bit of a problem because she's, she's on the questions. So I'm going to... You, you, you're going you're gonna to have to move. Sorry about that. Right, you ready for this? TV and film, 10 questions. About those music questions, there, I, I knew quite a few of those. They, they were quite easy, I thought. Well, you are a DJ. You have been one for 30 years, so I expect you to know, to be fair. <laughs> right, you ready for this then? TV and film. In Rudyard Kipling's The Jungle Book, what creature is Hattie? I just look at the special uh, note there with the pronunciation of it. In Rudyard Kipling's Jungle Book, what creature is Hattie? That's question number one. Question two. Which former footballer starred as Bullet Tooth Tony in the film Snatch? Uh, which former footballer starred as Bullet Tooth Tony in the film Snatch? How are the reading lessons going? All right. Yeah. I'm up to Red Bull too. Oh, yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, question number three now. Which cartoon character's name is Italian or Pine Eye? Which cartoon character's name is Italian for pine eye? That's question three. We move on to question four. What was the name of the scientific genius on the TV series Thunderbirds? What was the name of the scientific genius on the TV series Thunderbirds? Um, question five. Which former friend star starred in Marley and Me? Question five, which former friend star starred in Marley and Me? Great film, good actress as well. Number six, uh, which film features Robert Downey Jr. as the businessman turned superhero, Tony Stark? Which film features Robert Downey Jr. as the businessman turned superhero, Tony Stark? That's question number six. Uh, number seven now. What is Miss Piggy's surname? It's question seven. What is Miss Piggy's surname? Uh, number eight. Nowhere Boy is a film about the childhood and adolescence of which famous musician? Uh, that's question number eight. Nowhere Boy is a film about the childhood and then adolescence of which famous musician? Number nine now, question number nine. In Only Fools and Horses, by what name did Trigger always call Rodney? In Only Fools and Horses, by what name did Trigger always call Rodney? And now your final question uh, for this round, TV and film. Question number 10. Tom Hardy played a gangster in which 2019 series? Uh, Tom Hardy played a gangster in which 2019 series? And that's your final question from TV and film. And there concludes our quiz. So the first question was, who wrote the Mr. Men books? And that, of course, was Roger Hargreaves. Question two. In the fairy tale, which vegetable was placed beneath a pile of mattresses to test the princess? It was a pea. 
Uh, question three, what product was the first product to be advertised on UK's Channel 5? Uh, it was, in fact, Chanel number no. five perfume. Uh, question number four, true or false, all polar bears are left-handed. I know this, but it's true. Uh, question five, what is the, the first name of the American president, Roosevelt? It was Theodore, so Theodore Roosevelt. Question six, a standard set of dominoes have how many pieces? That would be 28. Uh, which famous waterfall straddles the border of the USA and Canada? It's Niagara, Niagara Falls. Um, question eight, in which sport do competitors shoot at flying discs? Well, it's clay pigeon shooting, of course. Uh, number nine, what is the only animal that cannot jump would be an elephant? And finally, question number 10, which metal is the best conductor of electricity? And I didn't know this, silver. Never knew that. So there you are, your uh, general knowledge questions answered. See, I would have put copper for that last answer there. Yeah, me too. Right. <clears throat> Music quiz now. Um, we started off with number one always. Which beetle led the way across the zebra crossing on the Abbey Road cover? Well, that was John Lennon. Number two. Which Spice Girl released the album Schizophonic? Jerry Hallowell. Number three, which member of Oasis is older? Is it Liam or is it Noel? It's Noel. Noel's the older brother there. Number four, whose real name is Stefani Joanne Angelina Germanotta? Lady Gaga. That's her name, Lady Gaga. Number five, <laughs> where were the Venger boys going in the biggest selling song? They were going to eat pizza. I thought they were singing, we're going to eat pizza. Yeah. Number six, what gilded object stands on top of a Grammy Award? It's a gramophone. Number seven, what sound of the underground was, or rather, sound of the underground was whose first number one hit? It was Girls Aloud. Number eight, complete the Rihanna lyric, we found love in a hopeless place. And what reggae band is named after an unemployment benefit card? UB40, of course. And number 10, which ancient city gave David Gray's first top 10 hits? Babylon. Okay, so that concludes the music round and answers. Back to you now, Woody, for the answers with TV and film. All right, here we go then, TV and film. Question number one. In Rudyard Kipling's Jungle Book, what creature is Hattie? That's an elephant. Uh, question two, which former footballer starred as Bullet Tooth Tony in the film Snatch? Vinnie Jones. Uh, question three, which cartoon character character's name is Italian for Pine Eye? And that, of course, is Pinocchio. Uh, question four, what was the name of the scientific genius on the TV series Thunderbirds? Was, of course, Brains. Um, question five, <coughs> former friend star? Uh, starred in Marley and Me. Well, of course, that was Jennifer Aniston. Uh, question number six, which film features Robert Downey Jr. as the business, businessman turned superhero Tony Stark? Well, it was the Iron Man film. Uh, question number seven, what is Miss Piggy's surname? It's Lee. Didn't know that. Question number eight, Nowhere Boy is a film about the childhood and adolescence of which famous musician it was John Lennon. Uh, question number nine. In Only Fools and Horses, by what name did Trigger always call Rodney? Dave. Uh, number 10. Tom Hardy played a gangster in which 2019 series? It was Peaky Blinders. And that ends the TV and film round and concludes the whole quiz.